did I quit Banana Republic? Why did I quit Banana Republic? Hey guys, this is Zarya. Um, and you guys want to know why I quit Banana Republic? Well, I don't know if you guys want to know, but I'm gonna tell you why. So, if you didn't know, your girl quit Banana Republic. Let's start from the beginning. So, I started working at Banana Republic about a year or two ago. I just know that I had started college. Um, it was like the second semester, so it was in the fall, around September. Started working there, everything was cool, everything was Joe. Everything was fine, life was great. Okay, and then recently, this past year, we went under new management. And we got a manager. Well, all of the older managers started leaving and it just sucked because we were going through like this full transition. Everyone that I liked was leaving. So we got um, this new general manager. Um, I need a fake name for him. Rudely cut off because one of my friends just FaceTimed me. But anyway, back to the story. So we went under new management and we got this new manager. Um, I needed a fake name for him. So we're gonna call him John. So John, oh, John was a character. John is a character. Um, I still don't know if that's how he actually is or if it was all just a facade, but uh, first meeting this guy did not, I, did, I wasn't a fan, but needless to say that Every manager that I had would tell you that I was like the sweetest person, would get along with anyone, was just a friendly, nice, bubbly person. Bruh, first week John was there, I literally, this guy was like on me, just on me. Like, came to me and was telling me how to fold some shirts that I know how to fold. I've been there for a while now. So was pulling me off the floor and was like, hey, let me show you how to fold this shirt. And I'm like, oh, bro, I don't... You just told me to go on my break. Now you want me to stay out here, not go on my break, and show me how to fold some shirts. So I'm like, you just told me to go on my break. And he's like, let me show you how to fold the shirts. And I'm like, okay, okay. So I go over there. John gonna be like, push the shirts aside and be like you can leave if you want I thought it was a joke at this point so I'm like <laughs> ah, ah, ah. he's like I'm serious you can leave if you want and I'm like show me how to fold the shirt you can leave if you want show me how to fold the shirt you I'm serious you can leave John show me how to fold the shirt so John get back into his little flamboyant and this is like Okay, starts folding the shirt. I'm looking at everywhere elsewhere because I just, I just ain't have time for it. Like you're doing too much at this point. Like, what? Just leave me alone, bro. You've been on me all day. Like, just leave me alone. So go on my break after you show me how to fold the shirts. Go on my break. Come back out, bro. I'm helping customers doing my thing, getting cards. You know, you know the usual. John gonna come and say, "Can I talk to you in the office for a minute?" And I'm like what is it now so then i go follow him in the office he sit down he like you can sit down I'm like i don't want to sit down like what am i in here for because before that never been in the office never been in the office on some stuff like this i never been in the office because i'm a good employee i do what i'm supposed to do i come there and i work i just do what i'm supposed to do so john had me in there he basically gonna tell me that your girl is hostile what hostile and then this was the funny part because at this point i started laughing once he said hostile i was i was gone i was laughing he said hostile but then it wasn't towards customers he said that i was hostile he said i was hostile towards him at this point i'm just like aha <laughs> me hostile like 
what? And then he's going on to say that he'll say good morning to me and I wouldn't say it back. And I was like, John, I just spoke to you and said good morning to you today. Like, what are, what are you talking about? What are you really talking about? What are you talking about? And I'm laughing, you know, giggling. And he's like, sorry, do you not think this is, that this is a serious manner? And I'm like, no. Ah, ha, ha. Still laughing. I'm just laughing, like laughing, laughing. So I'm just like, no, I don't think this is serious. Honestly, I don't think this is a serious thing because I'm here to work to service customers. But yet you have me in here talking about being nice to you. And you have me off the floor not servicing customers talking about being nice again to you. So at this point, I was just confused, and I'm just laughing and stuff until he just tells me to, like, leave the office, and I just go about my, my day, get some more credit cards, even after I was already upset, like, why, why am I in the office talking about being hostile? I mean, I knew what it was. I knew what it was. I knew what it was. So after that, I just, I just was not feeling John at all. Not feeling his vibe, not feeling anything. He was just super fake to me, super fake. So then, getting to the end of like me, um, like thinking about like wanting to leave there or whatever. Um, there's this girl there. She's been working there for a while now. We're gonna call her Carly. All right. And then we got another new like assistant manager. We're gonna call him. We're gonna call him. What are we gonna call him? Damn, I really need a name. So we got John, we got Carly. We're gonna call him Bobby, alright? So, we get the new assistant manager Bobby right Bobby now another co-worker brought this to me Chrissy shout out to you but another co-worker brought this to me Bobby looked like a grown-up Gerber baby like the Gerber baby like if he grew up but his facial never changed like he just still the same still looking like a grown man baby like he was a Gerber baby Gerber baby to the max and Carly looked like a grown, I don't know, I don't know, but she got a short haircut, I don't know, she just looked like a little boy to me, but anyway, Carly was friends with another manager who I thought was like the coolest manager there, right, she was friends with him, and then as soon as Bobby came and started working there, I noticed that she stuff started like it just started shifting like it just started shifting for the worst um so Carly wasn't being as cool to the manager who was always cool with her and da da da, da. she just started being cool more with Bobby meanwhile let me tell you that Carly got a man's all right she been with this man she lived with him right everybody in the store started noticing that Carly and Bobby was getting a little a little too close a little too close like we would be working right and like people started quitting like left and right left and right people was quitting leaving doing this doing that and like so it would only be like one person per floor or whatever women's floor they would have a thousand people all day like they would have like five people on one floor meanwhile men's floor got one person and most of the time it would be me or like my other co-workers but most of the time like when i would be there i would be on the floor by myself for a majority of the time he would be walking and stealing i'm just like i don't get paid enough for this like i'm not security like I, I don't know what's going on like and then so Carly and Bobby would be downstairs with me right and they wouldn't even be doing their job like I would have to go like I would need help like with helping customers or whatever I would go and have to look for them because I would be talking over the walking nobody would come for my help nobody would come so I would go have to walk the floor to find them and I'll be finding them in the corner like ha 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 giggling 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 
but I will find them in the corner and giggling and stuff and just like you know like boo loving or whatever so then like my managers will tell me everything so literally um they would say that they would go out all together and then they just started noticing stuff and even my co-workers was like yo like I think they got something going on I even told one of my co-workers I was like yo I think I think uh, Bobby and Carly, like, doing stuff on the low, like, they look a little too close, like, for her to be having a man's, like, they look too close. So, as stuff started progressing, like, stuff just started getting worse, like, one of our managers just started, like, wanting to get them fired and stuff, like, it was just a lot. Then it came out that homegirl and, well, Carly and the manager that I thought was cool, they winded up being in a whole secret relationship for a year while girl was still with her homeboy, right? Then I found out that she was messing with Bobby on the low. Like, it was too much. The one day, one of the managers came to work with me because it was from a different store. Because, like, since we're, like, short on people, they would have to send people from other stores to come and work with us, right? And, like, freaking, she came and she was like, um... I was like, yeah, like, have you been hearing everything that's been happening with Carly? She's like, yeah, like, this, 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 and this. And I'm like, damn, I don't even get to tell her none of the tea because she already know everything. Like, damn. You know what they say? People bored, so they just want to talk about stuff. Like, I'm bored. Like, damn, let me talk about this. But anyway, I was like, dang, you know everything? And I was like, yeah, I would have never expected it from homegirl. Like, she would be doing it dirt and then the the manager was like yeah like she lied to everybody and i was like damn and then they were like yo we should have known like it's always the sweet ones and da 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 and i'm like yo this is crazy it's some tea so then homegirl told me that they had went out and then uh the the manager i thought was cool like he had confided in one of them and was like yeah like me and Carly have been in a re secret relationship for like about a year now and da 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 and I was like that is why homeboy was so upset and was pressed about getting Bobby fired like damn secret relationship like homegirl you really get around damn like that blew my mind so she told me that and then she said that she went and she said something to carly and carly just denied everything was like why would he say something like that like he lying like why he gonna lie like that like damn but homegirl was lying about everything then it came out that bobby even was in a uh, relationship with somebody carly was in a relationship and she was just doing all this dirt and then me and other men just was like, damn, at home, your mans don't know, like, all this is going on. Like, how do you have so much time? How do you have so much time? Like, damn. But anyway, besides that, like, it was just so much drama for such a small store. And, like, I really didn't understand. Like, it was just too much. So, freaking Bobby winded up getting transferred. I... Bobby would make me feel so uncomfortable like he had even told everybody that I was that I was quitting and stuff and like this was before I was even like thinking about quitting I had said that I had got a second job but I never was quitting so like he had told everybody that I was quitting and then I had to confront him like he was trying to talk to me like on some like like buddy buddy stuff like hey like how's your day going and I'm like Bobby why are you telling everybody that I'm quitting he said what I ain't never told anybody that. I was like, okay, well, she said, he said, and he said, and they're barely here, but they're telling me that, oh, sorry, you're quitting. And he was like, I never said that. Like, they asked me. I go to the managers. I'm like, he said that he ain't said on. They said, oh my gosh, he's a liar. Why is he lying so much? I told him about lying like that. It's just. It was just too much and then I just did not trust it came to a point where I really did not trust any of the managers there um, I was being overworked like crazy like I was working legit like like 50 or maybe over 50 hours and I was part-time not getting no benefits like I'm pretty sure that's not legal but 
it was just it was too much like and I just I just had to leave like there is no way like my mom always told me like don't ever stress yourself out for a job because as soon as you you could you could freaking pass away the next day and the job gonna find out and the next day they hire somebody to fill your spot like don't ever stress yourself out for no job like that oh okay and then I wound up working at Amber Crombie and Fitch for like two days right I went for my orientation and then I went for my first shift and after the first shift I called them to like cut it off because Amber Crombie I will never do that again in my life like when I told my mom that I was gonna be working there she was like isn't that the place that's like they're always getting sued for like being racist or like they're just being getting sued for like a lot of things and I was just like yeah but I still want to check it out for myself no Mm -mm. like I have no idea what's wrong with that company like it's just no it's not a good work environment like literally the people there are so stale they're they are so stale like and the managers don't do anything like they don't help with anything my first like official day after my orientation my first day they literally I was working that whole day they didn't know like what was going on the whole day they would literally put me with someone that would literally like yeah like yeah like I don't really do anything here da, da, da. like it's pretty chill like and the store was just trash like nobody's doing anything like it's just like a big like cluster of mess just a cluster of mess like literally I was there sorry I got thirsty but I was there and it was like three hours in and they were asking me like oh like how are you how are you feeling with the registers and I was like well I'm a little shaky like there's still stuff I don't know how to do like I'm not completely comfortable with it and they were like okay you're gonna be main cashier what what and they're like yeah help out with this line you're gonna be main cashier so I'm at the register like what the hell like what why am I main cashier right now there's a line forming and I'm calling asking people for help doing sock checks because like you can't go and do it yourself like you have to ask somebody to do it like just the whole system of how they work is just not good and like then the employees like I would literally talk to someone and be like hey like how are you like I'm new here da 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 and they would be like oh, okay like I'm well And they were just going about their day. No, like at the job that I work at now, like literally, you'll be new and everybody will be like, oh, like where are you from? Like, da da da, like we should hang out sometime. Like, I made so much friends. And like the last couple of weeks that I worked at my new job, like, it's insane. Like, I will never work there ever again. Then on top of that, when I quit Ember Crombie, I had to call them and I was like, hey, like I got another job opportunity that like, I'm not going to be able to work here. And then the manager was like, okay, that's fine. Like, will you be able to work your other shifts? And I was like, no, like I have to start immediately. She was like, okay, that's fine. Like we'll fill out your termination or whatever. But I'm thinking everything's cool. Then they start texting and calling me every single day and like I'm at work so I'm not answering them. And then one of my friends that had like uh, vouch for me to get the job he's like oh like can you just let them know what's going on and I'm like I already told them that I like quit like I have another job and he's like well um, who did you speak to because they're saying that they don't know what's going on and I'm like I'm saying the girl's name but I didn't really remember it and then he's like who is that like they don't even work here and meanwhile the girls it's like say I'm like saying oh like I spoke to Lily Meanwhile, her name is Lillian, and they're like, oh, like, there's no Lily that works here. Like, I don't I don't remember the name, but I'm just making up a name right now. They're like, there's no Lily that works here. Meanwhile, the girl's name is Lillian. And I'm like, Lily, Lillian, whatever, because y'all can't put the names together. And I was like, I don't lie. Like, I'm not going to lie about something like that. Like, why would I lie about something like that? And they're telling people that I never even showed up for my, my first shift, that I only showed up for orientation. Like, it was just hella, 
hella lies hella lies like i will never work for a company like that like i why do i have to call and quit twice i literally had to call and quit twice like why 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 is that even a thing like never again never again like anybody that works at y'all just y'all just stale like y'all just stale y'all have nothing like that is why your competitor is doing better than you like your competitor your competitor is doing better than you like i tried amber Crombie out never again never again your whole entire company is trash like y'all trash but anyway guys yeah this is that's why i quit banana republic and also, why well, quit Amber Crombie? But yeah, don't just take from my experiences. Like, you might go there and work there and love it. And, like, kudos. Like, I don't know. But yeah. And girls out. Hey.